Have you ever wondered why some people seem to carry themselves with an air of certainty and assurance? That's the power of self-confidence. It's a vital factor that can significantly sway both your personal and professional life. It's not an innate trait magically bestowed upon a select few. No, self-confidence is a skill, a muscle that can be developed, nurtured, and strengthened over time. Stay with us as we count down 25 practical tips that can help you boost your self-confidence. Starting off at number 25, we delve into the power of setting small, achievable goals. Life isn't a sprint, but a marathon. Each tiny victory leads us closer to that finish line. Picture your confidence as a muscle. The more you flex it, the stronger it gets. So set yourself minor challenges every day and relish the thrill of accomplishment as you conquer them one by one. Moving on to tip number 24, we're stepping out of our comfort zones. Comfort zones, while cozy, are breeding grounds for complacency. To build self-confidence, we need to venture into the unknown, challenge ourselves, and stretch our limits. It's in those moments of unease that we truly discover our mettle and capability. Tip number 23 is all about maintaining a positive attitude. Your outlook on life can significantly impact your confidence levels. A positive mindset can be your invincible armor against negativity, self-doubt, and failure. Remember, it's not about the glass being half full or half empty. It's about knowing you have the power to refill the glass. Next up at number 22, we're learning from our mistakes. Mistakes aren't setbacks, they're stepping stones to success. Embrace them, learn from them, and use them as a springboard to propel yourself forward. Remember, each mistake is a lesson learned, and each lesson learned is a victory in itself. Finally, rounding out this segment at number 21, we're practicing gratitude. Gratitude can significantly enhance your self-confidence by helping you appreciate your accomplishments, big or small. It fosters a positive outlook, encourages resilience, and reminds us of our worth. So take a moment each day to count your blessings and watch how your confidence blossoms. Remember, every step you take towards boosting your self-confidence is a step towards a better you. Moving on to our 20th tip, we delve into the realm of self-care. It's crucial to understand that self-care isn't just about bubble baths and chocolates, although those can be lovely. It's about taking time to nurture and care for ourselves, both physically and emotionally, which can significantly boost our self-confidence. When we take care of our bodies, our minds tend to follow suit. Let's not forget our 19th tip, embracing failure as a learning opportunity. Often we shy away from taking risks due to the fear of failing. But remember, failure is not the opposite of success, it's a part of it. When we view failure as a learning experience rather than a defeat, we build resilience and grow our self-confidence. Moving down to tip number 18, we find the importance of surrounding ourselves with positive influences. The people we spend time with can greatly impact our self-perception and confidence. Surround yourself with individuals who uplift you, inspire you, and believe in you. Their positivity will rub off on you, helping you to feel more confident in yourself. Our 17th tip is all about focusing on your strengths. While it's important to acknowledge areas for improvement, it's equally important to celebrate what you're good at. Recognizing your strengths and using them to your advantage can boost your self-confidence. Remember, Nobody is good at everything, but everyone is good at something. Finally, the 16th tip is practicing assertiveness. Assertiveness is about standing up for your rights and expressing your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs in a direct, honest, and appropriate way. It's a skill that can be learned and developed over time. As you become more assertive, you'll find your self-confidence growing. You'll feel empowered knowing that you can express yourself and stand up for what you believe in. As you can see, self-confidence is as much about your mental state as it is about your actions. Let's dive into tip number 15, setting personal boundaries. You are the architect of your own life, and that includes the boundaries you set for yourself and others. These boundaries are not walls to keep people out, but clear guidelines on respect and personal space. Remember, it's okay to say no. In fact, it's often crucial to maintaining your self-esteem and confidence. Moving on to tip number 14, challenging negative thoughts. We all have that little voice of doubt in our heads. It's perfectly normal, but
but sometimes it can be overly critical. When you find yourself being bogged down by negative thoughts, challenge them. Ask yourself, is this really true? Is there evidence to support this? You might be surprised at how often the answer is no. Tip number 13, seek constructive criticism. It's easy to shy away from criticism, but it's an essential part of growth. Constructive criticism helps you to identify areas of improvement and work on them. Remember, it's not a personal attack, but a tool for betterment. Next, we have tip number 12, taking up new hobbies. Trying out new things can be a great confidence booster. It introduces you to new experiences, skills, and people. It's also a great way to break away from routine and keeps you engaged and excited about life. So go ahead, sign up for that painting class or start learning a new language. Finally, tip number 11, celebrate small victories. Often we focus so much on the big goals that we overlook the small victories along the way. But every step forward, no matter how small, is a win. So celebrate it. Give yourself a pat on the back, share your success with a friend, or treat yourself to something you love. This not only boosts your confidence, but also motivates you to keep going. Remember, self-confidence is a journey, not a destination. Each of these steps is a part of that journey, helping you build a stronger, more confident self. So embrace them and watch your self-confidence soar. Cracking the top 10 with tip number 10, we're diving into the power of posture. Yes, how you carry yourself physically can have a profound impact on how you perceive yourself. Standing tall, shoulders back, chin up, these simple adjustments can make a world of difference. Not only does it make you appear more confident, but it also makes you feel more confident. Moving on to tip number nine, we have the power of positive affirmations. These are little mantras or statements that you repeat to yourself, which can boost your self-esteem and confidence. Statements like, I am capable, I am strong, I can handle this. They might feel strange at first, but give them a try. You'd be surprised at how much they can shift your mindset over time. Next, at number eight, we have setting and achieving personal goals. Nothing boosts confidence like seeing yourself succeed. Start with small, achievable goals and gradually increase the challenge. Every time you achieve a goal, no matter how small, it gives you a confidence boost and encourages you to push for more. Tip number seven is all about cultivating a growth mindset. This is the belief that you can improve and grow through effort and learning. Instead of seeing failures as the end of the road, see them as opportunities to learn and grow. This mindset can significantly improve your self-confidence over time. Finally, at tip number six, we talk about valuing oneself. This means recognizing your worth and not letting anyone or anything belittle it. Remember, you are unique, you have strengths, and you have something to offer the world. Don't let anyone make you feel otherwise. As we move closer to our top tip, remember that self-confidence comes from within. It's not about what others think of you, but about what you think of yourself. So keep these tips in mind as we continue on our journey to boost self-confidence. We've made it to our top five tips for boosting self-confidence. Firstly, at number five, we have practicing public speaking. It might be daunting, but it's a powerful tool to gain confidence. Start small, maybe with a toast at a family dinner, and gradually work your way up. Each time you do it, you'll find your confidence growing. Next, at number four, maintaining physical health is crucial. Regular exercise not only improves your overall well-being, but also enhances your self-image. When you feel good physically, you're more likely to feel good emotionally. Coming in at number three is practicing mindfulness. It's about being present, being in the moment. It helps you accept yourself as you are, which is a key step towards building self-confidence. At number two, Learning a new skill is a fantastic way to boost your confidence. It could be anything from cooking to coding, painting to playing an instrument. Mastering something new gives you a sense of accomplishment and boosts your self-esteem. Finally, the most important tip, coming in at number one, believing in yourself. It might sound cliche, but it's the foundation of self-confidence. Trust your abilities, value your uniqueness, and remember, you are capable, you are enough. And there you have it, our top tip for boosting self-confidence, believe in yourself. Now that we've revealed our top 25 tips, let's quickly recap. 
From understanding the power of self-confidence to taking the journey through our 25 carefully curated tips, we've explored the path to a more confident you. We've learned the importance of positive self-talk, the power of body language, and the transformative effect of embracing failure as a learning opportunity. We've also delved into the benefits of setting achievable goals, the value of continuous learning, and the significance of self-care in maintaining a positive self-image. The impact of these tips extends beyond mere self-assurance. They're about empowering yourself to embrace opportunities, to face challenges head-on, and to live life to its fullest. Each of these tips holds weight, but remember, it's not about rapid transformation, it's about steady progression. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Remember, the journey to self-confidence starts with a single step. So take that step today and watch as your self-confidence skyrockets.